Dirty Vegas es la clase de proyectos de esos que llaman la atención por su calidad musical y tan es así que hace apenas un par de años ganaron por ahí un Grammy por haber hecho la rola Days Go By, seguro la recuerdan y por eso esta rola los colocó en todo el panorama de la escena electrónica mundial. Estos señores en el año 2005 decidieron separarse desgraciadamente pero afortunadamente para todos hace apenas unos meses se reencontraron y decidieron volver a las andadas de manera oficial y de hecho lo hicieron en Ibiza por ahí en el mes de junio y es cuando aprovechamos para entrevistarlos. Este proyecto está contando con el apoyo bastante fuerte del sello Tool Room, este sello inglés que está ponchando bastante dentro de la escena electrónica y seguro muchos de ustedes lo ubican perfecto. Así que vamos a ver esta entrevista exclusiva para Electronic Meeting Point de este regreso que tuvieron a su haber hacerlo en el Club Privilege dentro de las fiestas Guarung. Así que vamos a Ibiza con Dirty Vegas en Electronic Meeting Point. just like at, for, the, for the first time in, in Ibiza for Warung, uh, it's uh, absolutely amazing. The, the club is packed, the music's great, the, the, the crowd is, is, is Spanish, German, English, Italian, everybody seems to have come. It's, it's, it's a great start to the season. Um, oh, just, just that for us, fantastic. We, yes. we worked on the set before we came, and uh, I think everything, you know, there's some some sound things, but you know that the, the overall effect was, was amazing. You know, you see the DJ booth, which you know is is like kind of a signature for Warung, and, and uh, I think everybody that would come through the doors tonight would would recognise that. And you know, for us to come here, play some new songs, play some remixes that we've done. As you can hear, he's lost his voice at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> I just sang so much that 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 crowd were amazing. I just I wanted to sing more and more and more. So. Made the tea. Ben makes the sandwiches and, and Paul pours the mojitos <laughs> <laughs> for himself. Uh, we, we, we just share responsibilities. Uh, you know, the we guys all, are very, very, very good produ producers and, and remixers and stuff. So we all had our own little bit. Yeah. So um, it's, it's quite an equal thing in the studio. Kind of, I mean, we definitely kept the club roots. Um, we kind of went a little bit back to where we were when we started out. Um, we still kept the song based thing in there. You know, we're, we're a band that, you know, we, we come from the live thing and we come from the DJ thing. So, you know, like songs are important, like rocking a club's important. And we try to put both of those aspects in. So we've got a little bit of dance floor, a little bit of put on your car, it's all good. You know, when you finish a record, Like in the old days, the record company would take time with it. We just feel like we want to go and give it to all our fans and we just can't wait to do it. It depends. Um, a track can take you anything from an hour to, to a month. It's like a, it's like a lady when she goes out. Right? <laughs> she can she can do that with her hair, she can be ready in 10 minutes. It could take her four hours to do her hair. <laughs> making music, making music is that nice. getting ready to start. The wonderful thing would be to to because uh, every year somebody says Oh, you should remix Days Go By and you should re-release that. One day we will, but we 
we're, we're, we're so like immensely proud of, of the new album that we have. So, I, I, for Come, me, coming this fall. The, the, coming this fall. Coming this fall. Coming this fall. Uh, anyone in the UK at the autumn? Uh, <laughs> if we could do something uh, this year, I would say that release the album and go on tour because when we play live, there's so much energy. We, you know, we, we're all musicians, and you know, you, you spend so much time on the plane, in the taxi cab, in the hotel. When you get two hours or, or one hour on the stage. You, you want to get that music across. So if, if someone said to me, you have 50 shows next year, I'll be a happy man. This summer we're literally oh, traveling yeah. all over. It's Indonesia, Croatia, Moldova, San Francisco, New York. Um, that's just next week. UK, <laughs> uh, UK everywhere. We have, we have a new album that we just finished, so we are, you know, we, we went away for six years, so we need to come back and tell people, you know, who we are again. So we, we do all the shows to kind of reintroduce the album. South America, we are Dirty Vegas. This is Paul. Hi, South America. This is Ben. Allah! <laughs> I'm Steve. We are Dirty Vegas, and you are watching Empo TV. Empo. más de Empo se termina, pero ya saben que tenemos una cita el próximo viernes en punto de las 8 de la noche, en donde les hemos preparado un especial con lo más relevante de nuestro disco Emperor Red Label. Los videos, las fiestas, las entrevistas y coberturas de los eventos electrónicos más importantes a nivel mundial. Así que por ahora agradecemos a todos quienes se han hecho presentes en nuestras redes sociales comentando los eventos próximos. Nosotros nos vamos, pero nos vemos por ahí en el Tour Ibiza Residence 2010 y a quien te elegí este y todos los viernes. Hasta la próxima.